Because for most of us, daydreaming has been as close as we've gotten to actually surfing in the past few weeks. We've got some material to help with your mind surfing needs. One of the last epic scores before the world went on lockdown wasn't in the Atlantic or Pacific, it was in the Caribbean. In Ruka's new edit, Luke Davis and friends absolutely scored on their strike mission to a crazy and fickle spot called Silverbacks in Panama. A new film titled Framed documents underground charger Patch Wilson's best sessions over the last three years. The Cornwall native charges the West Coast's heaviest slabs and big wave spots along Ireland's rugged coastline. As part of the Billabong family, Seth Moniz and Aki have known each other for a long time. And this week, the 2019 Rookie of the Year sat down with the 1999 world champ for a rap session on the Aukcast. You know, I mean, last year you got Rookie of the Year and you finished like just outside the top 10. I was really, really happy ending up in 12. It's just crazy. Like every heat is, you know, you're almost yeah. starstruck your first year. Coming up against Jeremy Flores or Kelly Slater or John John yeah. or Gabriel, it's just like hard to wrap your head around that. And finally, with the Mentawai Islands currently on lockdown due to COVID-19, there's nothing that our friend Guy Morgan of the Mentawai Surf Go can do but sit back and watch. Not being allowed to surf your local beach is definitely a bummer, but this one just hurts. To see the full cut of Luke Davis's new clip, as well as watch Taylor Steele's Stranger Than Fiction, go to worldsurfleague.com. And remember, stay stoked. We'll be surfing again soon. This week, the WSL launches its new series, The Collection, featuring directors who define their generations. Today, we're kicking things off with Taylor Steele and his 2007 classic, Stranger Than Fiction. That was a movie that was sort of the finale in the, the section-based movies that I directed. Probably four filmers all over the world working with like 30 surfers. Guy Neville was huge on that. He picked a lot of the music and, and he was in the edit bay and, and did some filming. Dane Reynolds got the last section and he was in the edit bay and I remember he was one of these a lot of waves that were just falls and not that good just to make it look like he wasn't trying too hard. For me, it was it was really when I saw Kai Neville it as really, you know, sort of working for me to do his own thing. We just sort of like handed the ball to him and let him run from there. A new film drops every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so tune in and get psyched. Ever wonder what it's like to surf Karamas? Tilo Ferreira and Sally Fitzgibbons have got you covered. So on the middle of the day, it's better because the wind comes out and then it's good for big airs and big maneuvers, but in the morning, it's a performance wave. Like you can do like six, seven turn in one wave. Yeah, it's just like a mixed bag of lollies. You gotta be ready for anything. The team at O'Neill has launched a new campaign with the positive hashtag, we will surf again. Until we can get back in the water, they want to see how you're staying creative at home. Head on over to O'Neill's Instagram page for all the info on how you can show what you've been doing. In the must be nice category, as of late, the North Shore has been absolutely pumping. Mason Ho has been extremely busy experimenting with some wild equipment. Mason was riding a tiny 4.9 at back door. How the hell does Mason Ho make this look so easy? For more with Taylor Steele and the WSL Rewind featuring the 2018 Bali highlights, head on over to worldsurfleague.com. Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there. And then tell us your favorite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.